Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Police Simulator Patrol Officers. I hope you're having a wonderful day, of course, happy Monday or whenever you're watching this. And we are continuing back in the city today and I have some good news. Um, you know the vest mod that was on about a couple of episodes ago that I wasn't allowed to share it with you? Well, now I am. So um, if you would like to get your hands on that, bear in mind that it's only PC. Um, but yeah, I'll have it linked down in the description, so you can, um, yeah, go ahead and get your own hands on it. And with that all being said, let's, uh, let's get into this and see what sort of stuff we can, um, get called out to today. So we're going to start over here in our combi. And 119, you can show me 1041, 108. Just go ahead and quickly sort this out. There we are. Excellent. And as always, if you'd like to get your hands on all of the mods showcased in this video, I always link them down below because I do get asked that quite a bit. And I'm thinking. Uh, for this episode, we might end up taking the Panther's head. Unless we come across anything I fancy more, of course. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on with that livery, and that's a bit broken. Actually, I think we'll go with the SPV for this one. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Looking good. Just make sure we've got all of the tools that we're going to need. Perfect. Alrighty. 119, you can show me 10 8. One nineteen, show me ten ninety seven. Go down to the twenty of what that once a person was last seen over. Okay, it's going to be a Bergman Parry. It's going to be a Caucasian female with blonde hair. Hopefully, we can find them. Right. Okay. Are you serious right now? Hey! Get out of the car! Don't even think about it! Hands in the air now! Get out of the vehicle, put your hands in the air! Unbelievable. Sir, get out of the vehicle, put your hands in the air. There we go. On your knees, on your stomach. 119 be advised, I'm gonna have one in custody. Uh, car theft over. Alright, sir. At this time, you're gonna be placed under arrest for car theft. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one be appointed to you by the state of Franklin. I should cost you. Do you understand if you have any questions for me, sir? Alrighty, sir. Anything on you is gonna poke me home, you stick me up or otherwise. Okay, sir, do you have any ID on you at all? So he's definitely going to be getting charged for possession of a switchblade. Now we'll just see if he's going to be getting charged with anything else. Okay, Daigo Santana. That's going to be valid.
Alrighty, sir. At this time, you're going to be getting an additional charge for possession of a switchblade. And if you come with me, please, I'm going to take you to the cells. Unbelievable. God just steals a car right in front of us. Okay, so step in there for me and I'll take this cuffs off, okay? So we have an accident. 119, show me how to see him an accident. Morning, sir. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, sir. Thank you very much for that. Do you have any idea on you at all? License, registration, proof of insurance of the vehicle? Excellent, sir. Thank you very much for that. Okay, Leaf Stevens, that is going to be expired, and that is going to be Vaj 1 Echo Mike Romeo 25. Okay, and he also has an open one out for his arrest. There it is. Okay, sir. At this time, you're going to be getting a citation for the expired ID. That'll be between $75 and $150. And have you consumed any alcohol, taken any trucks I should be made aware of? Okay, sir, at this time you're going to be placed under arrest for having an open warrant out on your name. Please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me, and anything you say can or will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one be appointed you with a state of frank donor. It should cost you. Do you understand these rights? Do you have any questions for me, sir? Excellent. 119, one in custody. Okay, sir. Just bear with me for a moment. 119. Can I get a 32 down from a current 20 for a 1015? And board dispatch. Okay. Good morning, sir. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Do you have any idea on you at all? License, registration, proof of insurance of the vehicle. Thank you, sir. Okay, Fred Christensen, that is going to be expired, and that's also going to be expired to Zulu Delta 233. And his license plate is also going to expire. Okay, sir, at this time you can get three citations. The first citation is going to be for an expired ID. The second citation is going to be for no valid insurance. And the third citation is going to be for an expired license plate, okay? Okay, sir, if you could shoot any alcohol, take any drugs I should be made aware of. Okay, so just bear with me and I'll be back with you in a moment, okay? Morning, sir. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? 
Okay, thank you, sir. Not a problem. Do you have any ID on you at all? License, registration, proof of insurance on a vehicle? Thank you, sir. Okay, Takashi Hansen, that's going to be valid, and that is going to be a valid 5 Whiskey Bravo Romeo 25. Alrighty, perfect, clear and valid. Sir, have you consumed any alcohol, taken any drugs that I should be made aware of? Alrighty, sir, just bear with me and I'll be back with you in a moment. Do we have any more witnesses? Hey, ma'am, how's it going? See if these females saw anything. Morning, ma'am. Amanda Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Alrighty, ma'am, not a problem. Do you have any idea on you at all? Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate that. Okay, Anna, no, that is going to be valid. And that's going to be a fake ID. Alrighty, ma'am. At this time, you're going to be placed under arrest for possession of a fake ID. Please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, it won't be a point. You could have stated Frank Don't know it's cost you. Do you understand these rights? Do you have any questions for me, ma'am? Excellent. 119, one in custody. Alrighty, ma'am. Anything else on you is going to put me home. It's tip me otherwise. Okay. 119. Can I get a 32 down to my current 20 for a 1015? Then for dispatch. Okay, well they're just going to stand there, so we will go and see if this female saw anything. Morning ma'am, Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department, would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Alrighty ma'am, not a problem, do you have any ID on you at all? Excellent, thank you ma'am, appreciate that. Okay, Yassine Deboer, that is going to be a valid. And that's going to be clear and valid, ma'am. You are free to leave. You have a wonderful day. Okay, sir, thank you for your patience. Here is an accident report for you. And you are most welcome. And you are going to be free to leave. However, uh, being you don't have any insurance, your vehicle is going to be impounded, okay? So uh, once you've got all your documentation sorted out there, you can go down to the nearest impound yard, pay off any relevant fees, and you can get your vehicle back, all right? So you are going to be free to leave, but it will be on foot. You have a wonderful day. 119. Can I get a 1051 down to my current 20 for an impounded vehicle? Then for dispatch. Okay, sir. Thank you for your patience and cooperation. Here is an accident report for you. 
And you are also going to be free to leave. You have a wonderful day. One nineteen. Can I get a ten fifty one down to my current twenty for an impounded vehicle? Ten four dispatch and one nineteen. The accident scene is going to be code four, and you can show me ten eight. One nineteen. Show me ten ninety seven. Code three. Stop major crime scene. Show me 23 on scene. Hey, ma'am, just stay with me. Ambulance is on its way, okay? Just stay with me. 119, be advised, I have an unconscious person. I'm performing CPR now. Can I have an ambulance en route to my current location, please? One nineteen be advised status update on that patient. Uh female is now conscious and breathing over. Alrighty ma'am, just gonna put some bandages on these wounds, alright? Okay, would you mind telling me what happened? Alrighty ma'am, really do appreciate that. Alright, you just stay here, ambulance is on its way, okay? Hey, ma'am, would you mind telling me what happened? Okay, ma'am, thank you very much for that. Just bear with me here, I'm going to put some bandages on these wounds, alright? Right, you can stay there until the ambulance arrives, okay? Hey, sir, would you mind telling me what happened? Okay, so thank you very much for that. I'm just going to put some bandages on these wounds, alright? And you can just stay there, okay? Medic will be with you in a moment. Okay, it's still not happy with that. Right, try that one again, shall we?
Okay. Might be because we cut a bit too much of that corner there. Try that again. Hmm. Right, pick them all up and we'll start over. Because, yeah, it's really not liking that. There we are. Right, perfect. Excellent. Right, let's mark down these evidence because I've already spotted quite a few things. We've got a crowbar here. We've got a knife over here. We have a glove. We've got some pills. That's one, two, three, four. Have a quick look around, make sure we haven't missed anything. Right, that looks good for now. Alrighty. Afternoon, ma'am. Madam Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me I have an idea what you saw? Okay, ma'am. Thank you very much for that. Do you have any idea on you at all? Excellent, thank you, ma'am. Okay, Zyra Kai, that is going to be valid. And that's going to be valid, ma'am. You are free to leave. And for your own safety, I'm going to ask you to leave the area as well, okay? Thank you, ma'am, appreciate it. Afternoon, ma'am. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, ma'am. Thank you very much for that. Do you have any idea on you at all? Excellent. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Amira Edwards. That is going to be valid. And that's going to be clear and valid, ma'am. You are going to be free to leave. And for your own safety, I'm going to ask you to leave the area as well, okay? Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. You take care now. Afternoon, ma'am. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Alrighty, ma'am. Thank you very much for that. Do you have any idea on you at all? Excellent, thank you very much, ma'am. Okay, Ella Weaver, that is going to be valid. And that's going to be valid, perfect, ma'am. You are going to be free to leave, and for your own safety, I'm going to ask you to leave the area as well, okay? Thank you, ma'am, appreciate that. Afternoon, sir, Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, so thank you very much for that. Do you have any ID on you at all? Excellent, appreciate that, sir. Okay, Norman Wood, that is going to be expired. 
And he has an open warrant out for his arrest. There it is. Okay, so at this time, you're going to be getting a citation for expired ID that will cost between $75 and $100. And you're going to be placed under arrest for having an open warrant out in your name, okay? Please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can afford an attorney, one bit point you better stay frank. I know it costs you. Do you understand these rights? Do you have any questions for me, ma'am? Okay, anything on here that's going to poke me, hurt me, stick me otherwise? Okay, perfect. Alrighty, sir, at this time you're going to be getting an additional charge for possession of a firearm without a permit. 119, can I get a 32 down to my current 20 for a 1015? 10 for dispatch. Oh, we've got a bag here. Didn't even notice that. Oh well, pick up this evidence marker. There we are. Hmm. Okay. Right, we've got enough evidence anyway as soon as we move away. Uh, we should be able to know who we're looking for. be advised that major crime scene is going to be code 4 and I'm going to be out looking for a wanted person. I seem to realize I have a positive idea on a suspect. It's going to be Casella Spencer. It's going to be a Caucasian female with black hair. And she is going to be, going to be wearing a grey dress. And I'm going to be out looking for that individual over. Hey, sir, how's it going? Ah, oh, that could be her right there. 119 standby, possible 20 on that suspect. Afternoon, ma'am. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Reason for detainment is that you match the description of a wanted person. Okay, ma'am, do you have any ID on you at all? Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate that. Okay. Ma'am, at this time, you're going to be getting a citation for that expired ID. That's going to cost you between $75 and $100.
and you're going to be placed under arrest for having an open warrant out in your name and for aggravated assault. Okay, please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one be upon you, but instead of Franklin. And do you understand these rights? And do you have any questions for me, ma'am? Alrighty, ma'am. Anything else on you that's going to poke me, hurt me, stick me, or otherwise? Okay, ma'am, at this time you're going to be getting an additional charge for possession of a firearm by a permit and 119 one in custody. Alrighty, ma'am. Now I'm going to take you to my vehicle. Man, mind your head for me, please. One nineteen. That one's a person to be code four, and you can show me one ten fifteen ten nineteen. Alrighty, ma'am. Mind your head for me. Alrighty, ma'am. Step in here for me and I'll take this cuffs off, okay?
119, you could show me 1042, 1007. Alrighty guys, that is going to be that for this episode of Police Simulator Patrol Officers. I do hope you enjoyed that episode, of course. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you are new around here and you want to see more content just like that, then please do consider subscribing. But that is going to be it from me for this episode. And until next episode, take care.